Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining the three different types of process activities that is debugging, validation and software evaluation. Right? So in the previous video, I explained about software specification and design. Right? If you want to know more about uh, software specification and design, the link for that video is in the description section. Now in this video, I am explaining the remaining process activities that is debugging, validation and software evaluation. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of remaining process activities that is debugging, validation and software evolution. So debugging, what is debugging? So debugging is nothing but programmers may carry out some testing of the code they have developed. Remember this thing, debugging is done by the developers or programmers. Debugging is not done by the testing engineers. No, debugging is done by the programmers, developers, those who write the program, right? Uh, that programmers will do the debugging. Debugging in means they will do the testing of the source code that have developed, that they have developed. Why? Why they will do the testing of the source code, that is debugging of the source code the, uh, they have developed because this debugging process reveals defects that a program may contain right programmers they will do debugging to detect the errors or defects that may be in the program not only that the defect needs to be removed from the program getting guys debugging is a process of detecting the defects not only detecting the defects that must be removed from the program. Getting guys? So debugging is done by the programmer or a developer. He is going to test the program that is written by him. He is going to test the program to identify the defects. Once the defects are identified, he is going to correct the defects or remove the defects. This is nothing but debugging and one more important thing defects testing and debugging are different process I already told you testing is different debugging is different testing is done by software test engineers debugging is done by programmers developers testing establishes the existence of defects debugging is concerned with locating and correcting the defects getting guys you will understand in a more better way, right? Don't worry. While, uh, I, while I explain by taking the example, you will understand that. So testing is different, debugging is different. So debugging means you are going to test the program for defects and you are going to correct the defects. Getting guys? Now, this figure illustrates the process of debugging. See here. So in the, f uh, the first step in debugging is you have to locate the error. Yes, you are doing the debugging to locate the error, to locate the defect. Once the error is located, you have to design the repair. That means you have to find a way to correct that error. How you are going to correct that? It's your choice. But before repairing it, you have to choose the method to repair that getting guys the first step you have to find out the error once the error is uh, found you have to choose a way to correct that error once the way is chosen you have to repair that error once the error is corrected you have to retest the program why you have to retest because you have to check whether the program is running properly once the repair is done getting guys so it is very simple first you have to locate the error that is present in the program after the error is found you have to choose the way to repair that that is the second step 
once the way is found you have to repair the error once the error is repaired you have to retest that program to check whether the program is now working properly or not so this is debugging so see so i already explained it no worries so debugging process is part of both software development and software testing you know that now i will explain what is the actual difference between the debugging and the testing see so you see this is the program for the authentication feature this is the program for the authentication feature and this is the authentication feature what you are seeing in the application now what is debugging so see this program is there right so this program is written by whom the developer the programmer if any errors are there he should find out that error he should correct that program once he correct this program this program will run the run properly getting guys so this is the code and this code is tested by the programmer this is debugging but here in the right side see so when you write this program you will get this uh, authentication fe feature it exactly look like this it exactly same as it is right see testing means what testing means i will enter the username i will enter the password i will test whether it is going to log in or not this is testing debugging means what if there is any error in the program you have to find out that error in the program you have to correct that error once the error is corrected you have to check whether it is running properly or not getting guys testing means what you have to enter the username you have to enter different different username you have to enter different different password you have to check whether it is logging in properly or not this is testing now you understood i think getting guys so debugging means testing the program that's why it is done by the developer because developer has written this program test engineers they don't write the program no they will take that feature they will enter the data what is given they will check whether the data is accept uh, data is right or not hope you understood guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section so this is debugging so next thing is software validation so validation means this one testing i told you right test engineers will enter the data and will test the application so validation is nothing but the testing see software validation or it can be called as verification and validation why why we di did this validation means it is mainly intended to show the system right it is mainly intended to show the system that is working or it's mainly intended to show the software that is working according to the requirements according to the expectation of the user this is testing or validation i'm going to validate my software i'm going to test my software to check whether is whether it is working according to the customer needs whether it is working according to the user needs getting guys this one this authentication is nothing but testing i am going to test this authentication feature using the data that is provided authentication requirement it is specified by the customer i'm checking whether the authentication feature is working properly according to the customer requirements hope you are understanding right so here when i do the testing of my application right i can use a three three stage testing process if i say a testing the testing can be having three stages see first is a component testing system testing acceptance testing now component testing means what see this authentication feature is there right this is a component one component this is not the whole system this authentic for example assume that this authentication feature is used in a banking application 
so in banking on application there will be a number of features but you can see here authentication feature is one just component it is just a component so component testing means what so component or unit testing means you are going to test the individual component you are going to test this authentication feature this is a individual component this is a single component you are going to test this authentication feature why to check whether they operate correctly or not you can check this components without other components also they are purely in, uh, independent i don't need extra for example to test the authentication feature i don't need the create account feature no it's not necessary i can test authentication feature separately i can test the create account feature separately so component testing means i am going to test the individual components getting guys right and system testing means what when you integrate this individual individual components you will get the whole system for example when you had uh, authentication feature when you had create account feature when you had delete account feature how many features are there three features create account delete account authentication feature when you add all those separate separate components you will get the system you will get the whole software now you have to test all these features in turn you have to test a uh, whole system you have to test whole software that is system testing understood guys right component testing means you have to test the individual components whether they are uh, working correctly uh, system testing means uh, once you integrate this subsystem once you integrate this component you will get the whole software you have to test the whole software that is nothing but a system testing hope you are getting guys next what is acceptance testing this is the last part of the testing so what is acceptance testing see acceptance testing or alpha testing this is the final stage in the testing process so why we do this this is alpha this acceptance testing is going to be done before the system is accepted for operational use the here the system is tested with the data supplied by the customer rather than the simulated test data no acceptance testing uh, what we will do means we in practical we will deliver the system to the customer we will allow the customer for example you may uh, write Uh, so for example uh, for example i may give the bank software to some selected customer i may i can allow the selected customer to use this bank software right why why we do this means when the customer only use that software we will get some better idea whether this software is working according to their needs or what getting guys the here the system is tested by the customer itself or i can uh, test this system the using the data supplied by the customer getting guys this is the final testing i may deliver the system to the selected customer i may allow the customer to use that uh, software then i will get a better idea i may uh, get some extra errors because while testing uh, we uh, developers or test engineers they will test with a specific set of uh, inputs or specific uh, set of uh, needs they were right they want uh, uh, try for all the cases you know that the cases will be limited once you deliver the uh, software to the customer he will use that software uh, with all these uh, requirements yes because he is the ultimate user right that's why once he you once he use the system we may get some extra errors acceptance testing may reveal errors and omissions uh, maybe chances are there we may uh, right excluded some requirements there is there in the requirement but may, we may forget to include it so that type of omissions may also be uh, right revealed if you do acceptance testing getting guys so sometimes for example best example here for example assume that 
uh, Amazon uh, website uh, while they developed earlier Amazon website uh, for example yeah uh, Amazon only take Amazon only Amazon developed uh, website uh, developed the web, uh, website for only 50,000 users assume like that once the Amazon is uh, Amazon started working suddenly uh, assume that uh, they announced some uh, f uh, what uh, what I can say uh, announced some uh, big billion day like that uh, Indian festival like that so what happens what happens suddenly the amount of customers those who are using that Amazon website increases because of that announcement that time errors may happen getting guys that's why uh, instead of doing like that if you allow some users to use the software before delivering it to the customer you may include uh, you may come across some additional errors and you can correct it no problem getting guys right and one more important thing how they are going to test how they are going to test means they are by writing the test cases so we will explain the test cases in the coming videos so this test case simply uh, think that test case is nothing but it is going to contain the input and it is going to contain the output data also test case may contain the input data what is the input you have to give to the software test may uh, test case may contain the output data what is the expected output and also what is the precondition and the po post condition this is the test data test data means uh, they will give the data to the test engineers to test it to test the application how means they will give the input what is the input you have to give and what is the expected output and what is the precondition for example listen here uh, in this username and uh, password the authentication for example what what is my test data means here username should be 32 characters long password should not contain special characters this is my input input is what username should be there you have to give the username username should be 32 character long username with password you have to give and password should not contain special character this is my input data test may uh, test case may contain this input data now what is the expected output when you give the proper username and the proper password that is correct username and the correct password login should be granted this is the output getting guys hope you are understanding now your test data the contains this input data test data contains the output also along with that preconditions preconditions mean what to grant the login the precondition is user uh, sorry account should be created first getting guys if you don't create the account how you can log in precondition is what account should be created that is the precondition what is the post condition once the login is created uh, granted once the login is uh, granted it should go to the home page that is the post condition yes I click on the login button yes login granted yes where should it go it should go, go to the home page that is the post condition getting guys like this for every feature they will have the test data they will develop the test cases they will give the input they will uh, uh, check for the expected output they will uh, check for the expected uh, uh, what uh, input data applied. and they will check for the output data also yeah, yeah sorry post conditions also getting guys so this is the process testing process see one more important thing if a incremental approach is used incremental approach means I already explained in a spiral model right what is the incremental approach so if you are developing the increments each increment should be tested as it is developed you know that already every increment needs to be tested as it is developed and also I told you test cases are developed and one more important thing so one more important thing in extreme programming extreme programming means test cases or test data needs to be developed parallelly while you are writing the program don't get confused developers develop the 
software right while developing the software you have to develop the test data that's all parallelly simultaneously you have to develop the test cases test cases now you know that test cases contain input output precondition post conditions you have to develop that uh, test related data in the beginning stage only you can do that uh, while developers are de uh, busy in developing the program test engineers may, uh, may be busy in developing the test related data what happens means when the test engineers uh, develop the test cases parallelly with the developers or programmers they can understand the requirements properly they can complete the testing process more fastly because Uh, there is no delay test cases are already developed while developing the program itself they can test uh, directly take that they will uh, develop they will test that uh, software they will gain some experience right that's why hope you are understanding guys see here this uh, diagram tells that requirement specification yeah you are developing the requirements you are developing the system specification you are developing the system design you are doing the detail design listen here parallelly what you are doing uh, these things are taken care of by developers this upper part is taken care of by developers see but acceptance test plan you are developing the acceptance test plan at the same time requirement specification also getting ready requirement specification is taken care of by developers but acceptance test plan is taken care of by test engineers in the same way system specification is <coughs> is getting ready by the developer at the same time test engineers are busy in developing the system integration test plan getting guys system design is getting ready by the developers in the at the same time a test plan is uh, getting ready subsystem integration test plan is getting ready by the test engineers don't worry about the test plan those things so far you should understand that Uh, while the development is going on at the same time simultaneously parallelly test engineers can also develop the test data test data means i already told you test plan may uh, contain test data test data can be a input expected output po uh, post condition and pre conditions why we have to do this because test engineers will give, get the better idea along with that i can save the time delays may be avoided here getting guys see after the test plan is developed you can use the test plan and you can do the acceptance test you can do the system testing you can do the component testing finally you can uh, deliver the product software service module and unit test code means uh, i told you component testing that is uh, that is debugging that is done by the developers getting guys in one word what i want to say is But while you are developing testing can also takes place simultaneously if you do like this test engineers will get the better idea the De delay in testing can be avoided that's all guys i don't want to drag it right next software evolution evolution means what simply it is maintenance in one word software requirements can change software may contain errors so customer may uh, uh, tell to add some extra feature then you should be in a position to add the feature you should be in a position to f correct the error that is software evolution your software needs to be maintained that is software evolution see the flexibility of the software system is one of the main reason why more and more software is being incorporated yes flexibility flexibility means what if you want to change the requirement you should be in a position to change the requirement if you, if any errors happen you should be in a position to correct the error that is evolution as the time goes on your software should evolve as the requirement change your software also change that is software evolution right getting guys now you can ask question why the requirements change because of the business changes for example you were developing a banking software one bank uh, consider that uh, uh, bank added a extra feature that bank your competitor bank now you have to add that uh, extra feature also why because of the competition customer will move to that bank if you don't add the feature they will think that uh, this bank software have the extra feature just i can use that uh, this bank is not needed no It, it's not the case right that's why getting guys
that is the software evolution you can see software evolution see yeah for example customer need a extra requirement your software needs to be added with the extra requirement your software needs to be evolved now now what what is the process see what you will do means customer tell about the new requirement so you will define the new requirement that is system requirement assess existing systems now you can ask a question why because uh, you, when you try to add the new requirement it may affect the existing system right already your system is ready you are trying to add the new requirement that's why when you try to add the new requirement it may cause some problems that's why you have to test that first if it is uh, if you if you think that no problems will arise you can propose the change system changes yes you will assess that yes you will come to the you will come to the conclusion that yes uh, if you add the extra requirements also no problem my already developed system will be there in the good condition no problem so then you will propose the change once the change uh, certified yes they will uh, they will check that yes they will uh, propose the change you will modify that that means you develop that uh, requirement once you developed that new requirement you will add that to the existing system that is modify the system once you add the extra requirement to your uh, already existing system you will get the new system that is the new system contains your old requirements also and the new requirement also that is uh, given by the customer getting guys new system contains the old requirements also and also the new requirement this is the software evolution process yes customer tell about the extra feature you will assess that with uh, whether we will check uh, you will check whether it will be included it is possible to include it in the existing system yes if you are satisfied you will do the change you will add the change to the system so finally you will get the old system with a new requirement that is working fine getting guys so hope you understood the concepts if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section